Okay. Kyle, can you introduce yourself to our readers? Um, my name is obviously Kyle Rinkwist and I'm a football freestyler. I'm part of a crew uh, called Cape Town Freestyle on Facebook and we do what we call uh, football freestyling. And um, it's basically like soccer tricks with a soccer ball around your body. Like standing, sitting, doing it like on your head and neck. And that's basically what I've been doing for the past nine years. I started when I was 14 years old. I'm 22 now. So, okay, thank you. Why did you choose uh, this type of, of uh, way of uh, trying to earn your living? Oh, um, because, like, I have a passion for it. I have a passion for, for football freestyle. And uh, it's something I love doing. I love to, to entertain people and, like, um, with football freestyle, it's, it's something that's very rare, you don't get it much, it's like a rare kind of form of entertainment. Yeah, it's basically the passion that, that keeps me going. I love it so much. Is it your only initiative or it's, uh, you, somebody motivated you into doing that? Somebody motivated me. Actually, uh, the soccer, my soccer hero, Ronaldinho, um, when, when I was 14 then I saw videos of him. Uh, on this Joga Bonito, nikefootball.com, Joga Bonito videos where they did like basic tricks and that's where it started like becoming big. It was actually, uh, people didn't know much about it and with that, those videos I watched it and that's how I got into it through Ronaldinho basically. Do you have any sponsors? Um, I am, I used to be sponsored by Puma but now I'm sponsored by Umbro. In, in, in what form do they sponsor you? Um, they give me gear and um, I just promote the gear, and, uh, like shoes and t-shirts and you know gear, like kit and yeah. Okay. Whenever they have events, I'll probably call me and uh, I'll perform there. It, it seems you have now a little bit of time doing that. Uh, how do you rate the public? Uh, does the public like your game or... Uh, what? The, the public really loves it because like I said it's very rare, it's not something they, they always see, it's, you don't see it every day, like you'll, you'll find dancers, you'll see dancers on TV, it's entertaining but it's, it's very like common with football freestyle, you will never have a, a, a viewer who's not satisfied, you'll always see people smiling and clapping hands and they always love it. So. Okay, your age, you could be a somehow engage in schooling or you could be somehow out of school a bit. I, what level of education did you attend? Um, I'm 22 now. Uh, I'm turning 23 in another, another month actually. And I, I just matriculated. I just have matric. So like for now, um, I'm saving money through football freestyle to try and open a school and also to try and study to have something where my name so I could. Because you can't always be freestyling forever. Like I'm going to be old, like 50 something, and I won't be able to freestyle anymore. So I have to, to save money to study. But like for now, I just finished my trick, 2009. Okay. Out there are youth of your age wandering in the streets. What is your advice to them? Um, especially like the area where I'm from. My colleague also, Mzu. Uh, the, like he's from Langa, I'm from Delft, and it's a very poor community. Lots of gangsters and, and drugs and, you know, uh, robberies and bad things, bad influences for kids. But, like, how I can motivate them is to, like, for me, I'm from that area. And because I'm from there doesn't mean I have to be like that or I have to, I have to live that kind of life. You, you just have to believe in yourself and you have to practice every day. Uh, even if it's not football freestyle, if it's soccer, if it's tennis, rugby, whatever you want to do, just practice and, and have a positive mind and believe in yourself, then you can make it. Okay, you've mentioned uh, Delft, uh, of course, it's also one of those areas yeah. with a high rate of crime yes. in the Western Cape. Yes. What, what are your expectations? What do you think the government should do to take away people from the streets? Um... What they what they should do is like to invest in the community in the communities like through um, things like like football freestyle, like to to invest funds and stuff and 
uh, you know, to to get uh, people into this this extra like uh, kids into this extra mural activities, and uh, you know, like to like even if it's soccer or so just to because most kids they they don't play soccer or they don't do certain activities because they don't have financial. Uh, they're not financially stable to do it, or their parents don't have money. So what the government can do is like just to invest funds and stuff, so that they can make this possible for the kids. You, you have got uh, good advice, but then some people might wonder how can they join? Maybe they would like to join your your way of yeah. doing things. How should they? How could they join you? Um, like for now, uh, we don't have a school yet, but we're trying to work on it. Uh, they can find us on Facebook and like we'll upload videos and stuff, we upload pictures and uh, everything. It's all about freestyle football. So we're, we're working on, on tutorial videos to make a CD as well that we can sell to the community. A CD that's like um, of tutorial videos to start freestyling. So it'll be, uh, it will be basic moves that they can learn. And, and for one to join, does it mean one has got to contribute something or is just free um, joining? To, for, on the Facebook, uh, if they if they check out Facebook and they check out the videos there, uh, well, all they need to have is an uh, internet connection. So uh, we won't be charging them anything on the Facebook. But uh, with the CDs, we'll be selling the CDs okay. to grow our, our crew so we can raise funds as well. What, we what, get funds. what is your age limit for people to join? Um, I think, I don't, I don't think we have an age limit. There's no age limit. That. If you install you, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have anything you would like to share with our readers? Um, anything I would like to share? Yeah, uh, I just would, I, I just want to say thank you for for this for this opportunity for interviewing us and to expose our, our brand. We really appreciate it. To expose freestyle also, and and to yeah. the youth out there, what what could be your advice? Um, to the youth out there, um, always believe in yourself, stay positive and, and go for your dreams, nothing is impossible. Like when I started freestyling, um, I had a passion for it and I believed in myself and that's what kept me going because freestyle is not easy, it's something very difficult so um, nothing comes easy. For the youth out there, just stay positive and, and hard work pays off in the end. Thank you so much, that's the end of the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.